but I've decided to continue with the example and what we basically have over here again is our simple form that connects to our simple application that connects to the customer's database and this actually comes from a happy snappy table and we will see that customers has placed certain orders and over here the customer number in my table is a foreign key um, to the order number over there so one customer could place many orders and if we have a look at our relationships that's also the case one customer may place many orders which is very important whenever you work with relationships make sure that if you especially specifically for school purposes that you always say enforce referential integrity because then it means we cannot delete one of the order one of the customers if there's still orders in the other table all right so let's modify our Delphi application all right and let's say I would like to add another button that will if I click on the button over here that will for the current record all right that will for the current record display all the orders that belong to the customer selected over here and let's say I would like to do that on another form so let's just give that button a name let's say the orders for customer and what we would like to do is we would like to incorporate and add a new form to our application file new easy new form Delphi let's save our form file save as in our application I'm somewhere gonna call it oops home FRM orders and let's say cast orders all right there we go there it's saved double click on it a nice thing that we would like to use is remember we would like to have this form now use or refer to some of the components on our main form so what we're only going to do is we're going to say all right this form this is the example unit over there and my new form must be able to reference it so i'm going to add it to the users over there all right and on this new form of ours we also would like to maybe display a DB grid. So we'll go to our data control. There's a nice DB grid. And in this DB grid, we would like to display all the orders for that specific customer. All right. Which we just clicked on. And then also what we would like to do is we would like, for instance, if we want to maybe just display the current details of the specific customer on top. And let's also add a navigator to navigate through the various orders and then also we need we're going to be required to incorporate an additional um, data source and an additional table i'm going to do it with tables now i can either decide to add that table over here with an additional data source which is going to refer to the orders or i could place it on there or i could have used a data module in delphi but um, let's say for this example just for this example we are going to say all right now we would like to use and somewhere place a data source um, or the table components on my new form wrong over here all right so let's just go and we're going to use dbgo components there we go dbgo specifically for access if you don't want to go the access route the ado route there's other options as well that we could have used um, there's my ado table that's going to refer to the orders and also we need a data source very important we because we're using some controls that connect to the data we need a data source and the data source we find under data access there's my data source good wonderful the ADO table done the connection is form on that form the connection from that specific form and the data source here is going to refer to ADO table one it's the one over here this DB grid must have a connection to a data source. So the data source is data source one. It's this one over here. And let's say that this table over here, um, the table over here now is the orders. And now it wants a connection. You remember because the collection prompt, so it's going to cancel. So let's just go to our main one where I've set it with code previously. Let's just set out the login prompt manually so that it does not ask me to log in and let's have the data table over here let's select the table to be uh, oh we didn't specify the device driver remember I did it in code manually so I just need to specify that so that we do have a connection string uh, sorry jet 4 oh, I could have used a 12 one doesn't matter now uh, then let's go there for app data and app data we're working with the happy snappy database there we go happy snappy and let's test the connection there we go it's connected advanced we just want to be able to read and write there click on ok 
Uh, click on OK over there. Let's go back to our form. Let's make our table active. ADO table missing table name property. Oh, the table name is again the orders. Ne? A customer placed some orders. If we make our table active, automatically somewhere in design time we can see the records that's part of our table and this will just display it. But it's not part. So what we're going to do, um, this form, let's give it a name. It's called FRM1. Alright, let's give it a nice name. Just for interest's sake, let's give it a nice name. The name property will be FRM orders. There we go. And on this form, I would like now to display FRM orders. So I'm going to add to my project FRM orders. Alright, good. Now, I can go press F12 and I could say FRM. And now that form doesn't show. So we need to incorporate just this unit over here. Uh, at the end or somewhere there, I know it would work there. And now if I say FRM, it's button 3. Is it the correct button? Hmm. What did I call my form? I can't remember. Let us just quickly have a look at what I called it. There's my form. F12, there's form. FRM orders. We have it like that. And let's just save. Changes like oh, I made a circular reference, so I beg your pardon with that. I just wanted to, to pick it up. So, in my orders unit, the one unit cannot refer to the other one. I placed it in here just to have reference to the first tables. And if I run it now, let's just have a look. Operation not allowed when an object is open. Uh, let's go to the table orders. There it displays the orders, then, but. Let's just see why I got the error. 